some critical factors why Bolatinubu might be unseated as president of Nigeria. Image. As the presidential election petition tribunal reaches the per ultimate stages, all eyes are on the five member panel of the appellate court to give its final verdict after admitting several prior pieces of evidence, listening to witnesses and the petitioner's arguments. However, Nigerians are on high alert, filled with anxiety, but patiently waiting for the running for the ruling of the most critical and crucial court case in the history of Nigeria's democracy. President Bola Metinumbu, on the other hand, seems somewhat unpredictable following a series of petitions filed against him and the evidence presented before the presidential election tribunal. However, his seat in Nassau Rock is yet to be guaranteed as strong allegations against him and evidence might prove, prove pivotal to the tribunal's final judgment. Okay. Legitus NG highlights five critical factors that could make Tinubu lose his grip on power. One, questionable conduct of the election by INEC. This has been a topic that has been ongoing for months since the conclusion of the presidential election. Many politicians or political pundits and public affairs commentators have often criticized the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for the poor conduct of the presidential election. Most recently, the European Union, EU election observer team released a report revealing that the election lacked credibility and transparency. The report also revealed that the credibility of INEX official and its leadership were questionable. The report says, closer to the polls, some started to doubt INEX administrative and operational efficiency and in-house capacity. Public confidence gradually decreased and was severely damaged on 25 February due to its operational failures and lack of transparency. To further enunciate this factor, the media, media advisor to the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Paul Ibi, told, told legit those engines that the evidence presented before the tribunal also highlighted and expressly dwelled on INEX complacency and lack of transparency. The second reason is alleged drug trafficking. This has been a long-standing issue for Tinubu as both Atiku and Peter Bill filed this petition against him at the presidential election tribunal. It was gathered that Tinubu's legal team admitted at the tribunal that their client forfeited $460,000 to the American government over the offense of narcotics trafficking and money laundry. In the final address of article, it was clearly stated that on account of this administrance, Tinubu had no basis for contesting for Nigeria's presidency, let alone being declared as the winner of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. As part of the petition filed by article and the evidence presented before the tribunal, President Tinubu was accused of possessing the citizen passport of Guinea. An earlier report revealed that the legal team of President Tinubu had admitted that he had the citizen passport of another country. However, their arguments in court stated that Tinubu had forfeited his citizen since 2020. The petition in court holds the argument that it was a gross violation of the Electoral Act that should be considered to disqualify him. Yes. To disqualify him. Well, the first is a Nijeku and Ekowa struggle. Tinumbu, who currently chairs Ekowa's, appears to find it difficult to command authority at the sub region level following the recent coup in the re Niger Republic. Tinumbu ordered the return of power to civilian rule. Why is seven days' timeline? But the military junta in Niger said he was not willing to comply. The South African TV even analyzed that the questionable victory of Tinubu at the presidential pool is contributory factor to the weakness of the authority of the sub-regional level. The military leader in Mali and Burkina Faso have also warned Tinubu to stay clear of Nigeria, Niger's business. The fifth is that Article 121 states as stipulated by INEC. This is a significant case Article and PDP have continually upped Upon 
for the tribunal to uphold as containing Atiku's final address through his lead counsel, Chris Uche SAN said that INEX assertion that he won in 21 states was neither disputed, retracted, debunked, nor claimed to be an error through the proceedings of the tribunal so far. This factor has been predicted to prove pivotal to the tribunal's judgments. Hmm. Okay. Mijeku so the okay, the five reasons. The the other one is the article one in 25, 21 states, which I make never debunked. The other one is a uh, the issue of Nije group uh, and Tinubu not being able to do the needful because of uh, what he himself is going through. Okay, uh, the alleged uh, what drug trafficking and also um questionable conduct of the election, the way I'm not, the election election. Elections were conducted, especially the presidential presidential election. So guys, let's see whether all this is how let's see how Tinubu will be able to escape them. That is the cocoa. Now let's know what you think.